sure you've all uh, read our statement. Um, as you know, I informed Jeff Tedford this morning that we would be seeking uh, to hire a new head football coach uh, to lead Cal football. Uh, this was a, a difficult decision uh, made after uh, considerable thought and uh, analysis and reflection. Um, Jeff Tedford is a good man uh, who has brought great success and celebration to this university and who deserves to occupy a, a place of honor in the Cal family. Uh, his legacy is unquestioned. Uh, however, the current state of our program is not what our student athletes, fans, and campus community deserve. Uh, my decision was based, and my decisions will continue to be based on what I believe is right and best for our student athletes. They deserve to be surrounded by the very best conditions for success, and that is what I believe a change in leadership provides them at this time. I believe this is a great university with a very bright future in its football program. We have very talented and dedicated student athletes who, although disappointed, I know will embrace new leadership. I look forward to bringing them back. Thank you. Questions? Mike Schumer, ABC7. Uh, Sandy, what was Jeff's reaction to the story we talked uh, <laughs> Let me first say that Jeff has been a complete class act through every bit of this. Um, certainly, he's disappointed. He wanted to continue to lead Cal football uh, and uh, made that very clear every minute, every step of the way. Um, but he, uh, he understands this is uh, part of what you, what you take on when you get into college coaching, when you get into any kind of coaching. And uh, he approached it very professionally uh, and has, throughout the course of the day, uh, worked to, to make this uh, uh, a, a transition for his student athletes, for our student athletes, uh, as uh, as seamless as possible. And I know professionally it was a tough call for you, and personally, I know you were really close to Jeff. So how how was it for you personally? Uh, this is never easy. Uh, uh, I had to. Uh, I mean, throughout throughout the course of this season, I mean, it's been a difficult season uh, for Jeff and and for our community and for me and and a lot of you standing in that balcony and and sitting in this room. And I think we probably have a couple of student athletes here. Obviously, difficult for them, um, but it's just like it's it's Jeff's job to to do uh, what he needed to do uh, from a football perspective. It's mine to be as objective as as you possibly can be uh, and do what's right for Cal. Uh, you know, this is uh, an incredible university um, that uh, is, is very demanding, and, and I think it takes uh, uh, a very uh, unique set of characteristics, uh, a combination uh, set of, of characteristics, and, you know, it starts with, uh, with integrity. Um, I think it, uh, it, it's uh, certainly we're looking for a, a builder, a team builder, a staff builder, uh, a character builder, uh, someone who's, who's innovative, uh, someone who understands the importance of academics uh, and the academic fit and can, uh, can navigate through that, can recruit the right kind of student athletes uh, to, uh, to, to Berkeley, uh, a strong vision and identity for the program. Um, and, and you notice I haven't said anything about football yet. Um, obviously that, uh, that's part of it. It's, it's not at the top of the list. Um, but the, but the list is, we have to have it all. And uh, certainly, there, there needs to be a, 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 a level, a very high level of football expertise. But all those other things are so important to being successful here. Ask any of our, our, our coaches. Um, it's, uh, it, it, it takes a, uh, a combination uh, of, those, uh, of those skills and abilities. It's a combination of, of all of that, and, and I would certainly say that uh, uh, that those indicators um, over the course of some time um, of decline, uh, both the competitive success on the field and academics uh, were, were part of it, were, were part of the, the, the total picture, um, and, and 
you know, it's, that's part of where we are. Um, and in the end, it's, it's, uh, they both played into a, a decision for new leadership. Um, but believe me, I, I've spent a lot of time thinking about and, and analyzing things that, that I could have done differently and that this university could have, have done differently. And I accept my share of responsibility for where we are. Uh, and, uh, and, and certainly will apply that analysis as we go forward. We can come back to you, John. No, I, I got it. I got okay. It. Uh, last time you know, when Jeff was hired, there was a search committee composed of people on campus. I look at your release and you hired a, uh, a firm. What does this firm do and, and, and why not another search committee on campus? Uh, we, have, uh, we have hired an executive search firm uh, to assist us as our consultants uh, in, in this search. Um, that is uh, pretty commonplace, pretty standard uh, best practice uh, these days um, uh, to assist us in navigating um, all of the, uh, the, the parts of the search. Uh, we're the ones who will decide what's best fit uh, for Cal, who the successful candidate is. Um, but certainly they'll assist us with, with that. We will be having uh, a uh, search advisory committee um, that won't have anything to do with candidates, uh, but that does have to do with what are the characteristics, what are the qualities, what are the skills and the experience and the expertise that, that we're looking for, because we certainly value that input from, from our community, uh, because they're, they're an important part of helping to make this person successful. Well, remember, when, when I was asked that question, it was the characteristics of our football coach uh, that, that I was asked for. So certainly, uh, football expertise is, uh, uh, I mean, all those things I mentioned are, are very important, and, and football expertise is kind of the given. Um, let's make no mistake, we have ambitious goals for Cal football. Uh, as, a, as an athletic program, um, as a university, uh, Chancellor Bergino talks about comprehensive excellence. And, and our excellence, our contribution uh, from an athletics department standpoint to that excellence is winning. And we have a broader definition of winning. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's wins in the, in the win column. It's uh, academic engagement. Uh, it's being great role models in, in our community. It's being fiscally responsible. Uh, but win winning is, is uh, what we intend to do. Uh, in Cal football, and, and well, that's, uh, that's competing for a conference championship, that's competing for a national championship, that is being excellent at football in its broadest definition. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I certainly wanted the answer to be Jeff. Um, but as I said before, I have that, I have that obligation to do what's right uh, for Cal. And it's a matter of did I believe that we could turn around um, some of these worrisome trends uh, competitively, uh, academically. And um, ultimately, uh, my conclusion was that it, it, it wouldn't be uh, it, the, the, it wouldn't be deep enough. Um, to, to take us to where we, we need to be for, for this community, for this university, to, to represent comprehensive excellence. You mentioned in your statements some of that came when you met with Jeff today in the discussion. When, were you with, when did that, have you not made the decision? Were, you, were there things you could have said or things that would have changed this decision? Or? Uh, I, 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 I informed Jeff of the decision this morning. Um, so went into the meeting with, with that decision. Uh, but uh, you know, certainly you, you evaluate over the course of a season. It was a difficult one for us. Uh, but I believed that it was the right thing to do, the objective thing to do, uh, to wait for the conclusion of the season, 
uh, while, while continuing to analyze, and then give, give Jeff a chance uh, for us to have some conversations. What would be the plan? How do we, how do we turn it around? Um, and uh, we, we did that for a couple of days. And uh, uh, last night, after our last conversation, and, and uh, after some time with Chancellor Bergino and Vice Chancellor Wilton, um, I came to that conclusion. Uh, let me uh, let me first say that uh, uh, to be very clear, it, it will be no state funds. It will be no student fees. It will be entirely um, intercollegiate athletics self-generated uh, revenue. Um, having said that, uh, again, this decision was made primarily with our student athletes and their conditions for success in, in mind. Um, but we have an ambitious plan. Uh, to create uh, the, the necessary revenues. And if we put our program and we put our student athletes, if we provide them with those conditions for success, uh, and we have a, a football program that is compelling on and off the field, uh, then I believe that that financial sustainability gets created. John? And have you arrived at a, a settlement with Jeff for the remaining years on this contract? That's in the works right now. Uh, we have, uh, well, ultimately, obviously, uh, uh, it will be up to the, to the new head coach, um, but we have, uh, we have retained uh, five of the assistant coaches uh, for the interim period. We have retained five of the assistant coaches for the interim period. Who would those assistants be? Uh, Gould, Arroyo, Mahalchek, Ambrose, and Chandler. And who's the last one? Chandler. Uh, they're very similar to mine. Um, concerned about the uh, the direction, uh, both academically and and athletically. And I got the question before about how do you how do you balance those? What is the balance here? And uh, the balance here is that they're both really important. Um, this is not a either or. You know, I talk about Cal athletics a lot uh, about athletics done right, and it's. It's athletic success, it's academic uh, achievement, it's uh, community engagement, and it's fiscal responsibility. And it's all four of those every day, every year. It's not, we'll do two of these this year and we'll do two of those next year. Um, and uh, the chancellor shares that vision. Uh, and uh, those, were, those were his concerns as well. Right. How much money will be available for the new coach, or if you're at liberty to say? Um, I'm not quite sure how to answer that in terms of the calculation. Um, uh, obviously, uh, again, we, we, have, we have an ambitious plan to, uh, to, to put Cal football in a successful position, uh, which we believe will create financial sustainability. Uh, and we're committed, uh, we're committed to, uh, to, to fielding a, a high quality, highly successful football program. And right now, I'm entering into a search to go out and get the very best uh, head football coach, the very best man um, available to Cal football. Can you characterize the uh, high level donors in this process? Uh, they, they were not part of, uh, part of the analysis uh, in terms of where our football program was and what it would take for us to turn around. Um, have I been hearing uh, from, uh, from fans and season ticket holders and donors and university community? Of course I have. Um, and, and they've been all, all over in, in terms of their opinions uh, relative to where the program is and relative to Jeff's leadership. Uh, but in terms of the actual analysis and the decision, um, they were not involved. External stakeholders were not involved. Correct. Correct. Yeah, there, there are, there are no state funds involved in, uh, in Cal Athletics in any of our operation in any way, state, uh, any way, shape, or form. And sort of a related question: How much urgency, for lack of a better word, is there financially because of the investments you guys have made in the stadium? Uh, you know, certainly we have financial challenges. There's, <laughs> there's, there's no escaping that. Um, but uh, 
I'll, I'll go back to the beginning. Uh, this decision was made with our student athletes in mind and providing them conditions for success and cre creating uh, success in our football program. Uh, and, and then those other things will follow. Uh, you know, as uh, as an athletic director, and, and obviously I have a, a team of uh, of other staff that that support our football program on a daily basis. Uh, you can certainly uh, get student athlete input without asking for it. Um, you can uh, you can discern it. Um, but when I say that this was made um, with them in mind, it it was made. And I, I said this to them this, this morning. I said, I had the unenviable task of deciding on your behalf, okay? And uh, I, had, I had to decide with them in mind, thinking about them, thinking about what is best for creating conditions for success for them. So this was not a matter of them saying what they wanted or didn't want, um, but it was me thinking about analyzing uh, and deciding what would provide those conditions for success for them. They're disappointed. You know, Jeff and his coaching staff have, uh, have been their leaders. Um, most of them were, were recruited by somebody on this staff. Um, it's what they've known. Uh, but I also uh, challenge them uh, about what's next and um, I believe that that uh, that they will respond. They love Cal. They they are they love this institution, and uh, in time, they will they will look forward to to what's next. They 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 need time to figure out their emotions about this. I, I would expect nothing less uh, than them being very disappointed. John Bruce, then John. John Rich, CBS Sports. Um, have you set a timeline for the new hire? I mean, you guys do have that by this week, so that all the teams are still playing. Uh, does that work to your advantage? Is there a timeline for the new hire? As expeditiously as we possibly can. Um, you know, time, timing is of, of the essence in, in, in all of this. Timing was critical related to the to the uh, to the decision and being fair to Jeff and to his staff in in what we needed to do if the decision was going to be uh, to search for a new head coach. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of folks are still playing this weekend. Uh, some folks are still playing next weekend, so that we'll, we'll have to navigate that. Um, but we will uh, we will do this as quickly as we possibly can, um, but not sacrificing getting the right person to lead Cal football. Mm. Uh, you know, certainly continuity in, in coaching staffs uh, is important. You, you ask any AD, you ask any head football coach, that, that'll, be, that'll be on their list. Um, uh, you know, uh, in terms of, of my or our accountability, um, that certainly is, is a place where, where we, we attempt to, uh, to continue to analyze the competitive marketplace and stay, stay competitive, uh, and, uh, and we will certainly commit to doing that. Uh, we've taken a look at where we are uh, in, the, in the marketplace of uh, entire pool of assistant coaches, uh, and uh, you know, we're, we're pretty good. Uh, we're not at the top, uh, but we're certainly not anywhere near the bottom either. Well, I think as we're all aware, uh, we, we provided what, what I felt was a pretty good competitive offer um, in the situation you're referring to. Uh, and ultimately, we were not in a position um, a and should not have been in, in a position uh, to have, have matched that offer. Um, this is a funny business that way. 
And um, there, there is a protocol about talking to head coaches. Um, and uh, it is before I, I will, will have a conversation with any head coach, I will have the permission of their athletic director. Or, or at, at minimum, I will have contacted their athletic director and sought permission. Uh, you, you don't typically get turned down. It might be, yes, you can talk to them, but after they're done this weekend. And, I, and we will honor that. We will absolutely honor that. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, and then the second part of your question was about interests. Um, we've received great interest um, in a very short period of time today. Um, unfortunately, and this is the part of this business that, that I do not care for at all, we, we received interest long before the job was even open, uh, of which we did not respond to in any way, shape, or form. Yes. Between. And secondly, uh, uh, head college football coach at the top level has become increasingly complicated, tough job. Uh, in looking at the resumes of uh, people, what do you put at the top of the resume that you look at for? Uh, the, the answer to the first question is yes. Uh, we, we have hired a search consultant, an executive search firm, uh, to assist us uh, with, the, with this search. And, uh, and then, you know, I, it, it, in reference to your own question, uh, it's, a, it's a complex, it has become a very complex job, so it's really difficult to, to put one thing at the top. Uh, but uh, I think there are a number of things which uh, I talked about in one of the in answering one of the previous questions uh, in, in terms of uh, characteristics and, and qualities and um, I, I wouldn't put uh, football expertise at, at the top because of this institution. Um, but again, you've got a set of characteristics that we have to meet all of them and, and, and significant football ex demonstrated uh, football expertise and success is certainly on there, but it's, uh, it's integrity, it's uh, team builder, character builder, staff builder, it's uh, innovator, it's visionary, uh, it's all. No, I'm not gonna put, I'm not. I would not put one at the top because I, I, I have to have them all. Dan Grief, Fan Fox Sports. Uh, in terms of the NFL, uh, NFL head coaches, NFL assistants, how would that affect your timetable and what's the process like for potentially interviewing them? Yeah, the NFL piece gets a, a little bit more complicated because they are going deeper into the uh, into the season. Um, they don't have the the same kinds of uh, restrictions related to when you can contact and when you can't in terms of ownership and, and some of those things. Uh, um, that's up to to each guy, I, I would think. Um, so we'll you know if there's a, if there's an NFL guy that we think uh, fits our criteria, um, we'll sort through that. John, welcome. At Cal. At Cal, yes. Yeah. Okay. How much, uh, you know, it's the most important hire that the AD does to the latest school. How much uh, pressure or responsibility do you feel goes into that for you? It's a huge responsibility uh, that, that I embrace on behalf of this institution. Um, it's, uh, football is incredibly important to us, uh, not only as a department, but as a university, emotionally. Uh, financially, it's uh, there. There is no other place on this campus that 65,000 people gather on every any given Saturday afternoon or evening. Um, it, it occupies uh, a, a very, very important role and important place in this university. And so, finding new leadership for that program is uh, is is really uh, terribly, terribly important. And we will be very serious uh, and very diligent about uh, hiring the right new leadership. Uh, again, we uh, we set up a, a, a timeline of having an opportunity for Jeff and I for, to conclude the season, and then Jeff and I have an opportunity to talk on Sunday. Uh, we spoke again yesterday. We spoke with uh, uh, with Chancellor Bergino and uh, and Chancellor uh, uh, Vice Chancellor Wilton uh, yesterday afternoon, and uh, and then uh, I consulted with them again last evening and, and made the decision. Was 
Well, I certainly entered the season with with high hopes and high expectations about uh, about where we were headed, and um, and I know Jeff did, uh, and, and I know our community did. Um, I, I, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a body of work person, um, both from a uh, uh, a career standpoint and, and time at Cal, uh, as well as from a, a season long perspective. Uh, so I, I don't, it, it, it's certainly where, where we were going and then ultimately the, the three and nine are, are, were concerning. Um, but I, I, there, I don't think there was a point where I, I said, well, this is, this is ir irretrievable. Um, because again, we were going to, we were going to conclude the season, uh, and then, uh, have the conversations, do the analysis and, and reach a conclusion, which is what we did. Uh, you know, there were a lot of things that, that Jeff and I talked ab uh, about, um, and I, I would say all of them are things that Jeff and I have continued to, to talk about th throughout. Um, you know, one of the things that I really appreciate about Jeff's and my relationship was that we would, uh, we would always talk about what's, how can we get better? What, what does the program need? Um, we certainly strive to, from a resource standpoint, uh, from a conditions for success standpoint, um, be, uh, you know, be, be in the proper market position. Uh, we've done that under Jeff's leadership and, and we'll do that uh, under new leadership as well. Uh, this is a great job. It's been made better by Jeff Tedford. Um, this is a, a very attractive job um, that, uh, that, that is and, and will uh, attract uh, a number of folks, uh, a number of candidates that will meet these criteria and uh, will have an opportunity to, to make a great choice.